This is Drosera species floating, and it gets this name because in nature it can be found growing in areas that are nearly submerged in water or where the plant is growing just above the water level. And so it kind of gives the appearance as though the plant is floating, uh, and that's pretty unique for South African species to grow in areas like this uh, where water is just kind of um, nearly submerging the plant. And I have, I believe that this plant can survive in. Uh, periods of time when it is completely submerged in the water as well. I'll post a link, a link to the pictures in the wild um, in the box below this video so that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about and get to see that for yourself. This species is uh, believed to be just a form of Drosera admirabilis and I'll give you a quick comparison to my admirabilis from Ceres, South Africa here. and. What's kind of interesting is, although this particular plant you see here has a bit of a problem with root um, sensitivity to water, as uh, and it, it's mostly just when it's younger, I've mentioned that in another video I have dedicated to this uh, Drosera admirabilis species, but um, unlike that, this plant has been very tolerant for um, both wet and dry conditions. Uh, the pot you see that it's growing in now is kept a bit drier since there's about six and a half inches of media uh, that it's growing in right now. So it's very adaptable. I've also grown this in long fiber sphagnum that's um, the dead kind that you can buy at uh, Lowe's and uh, different garden shops and it did very well in there as, as well. So very adaptable species and I'll give you a quick size comparison here. This plant is two years old grown from seed that I purchased from Triffid Nurseries in the United Kingdom and it's about an inch and a fourth across right now but it's a bit clumped with the other uh, Sunday species that I planted at the same time two years ago so there you have it this is Drosera species floating